A few days ago at the Capcom online program during TGS, they revealed that they're going to have their own Resident Evil showcase in October. So today, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what we could possibly be getting from the showcase. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video, shall we? The first thing I want to say is that I do not think we'll be getting a lot of Resident Evil 8 DLC news, or third person, or any of the Winter's expansion news. Because we've already gotten so much, and the showcase is going to be pretty near at releasing. But I do think we'll be getting Resident Evil 8, sorry, not Resident Evil 8, Reverse news. Because we have not gotten any for a long time. We didn't get any at TGS, and I was super disappointed. Because I thought they were going to, like, release a full-blown trailer. Now about Resident Evil 4 Remake. I do think that they're going to release something big, like a long trailer gameplay or a release date for a demo now this is interesting because I just made a video about leaks and one of the leaks was that there will be a demo for the village coming out this month now I do not believe these leaks at all but what if they're true one thing I want them to talk about in the RE showcase is what we'll be getting for VR content in the remake because it's definitely not the full game, so what could it be? I did see someone on Twitter talking about how it could possibly be Operation Javier. Because in the original game, it was super unclear where, like, Leon knew who Krauser was. Or, like, how they met. And so that could be a possibility. Because it will, like, clear a lot of people's minds when they're playing the game. I know this is a completely crazy theory, but what if Capcom completely surprises us with a little teaser of Resident Evil 9? They must have a lot to show us, because they started development in 2016. That, that would like be epic if they did that. <laughs> Everyone would be so hyped. But then again, it might disappoint a few people because it's going to be coming out in a long time since there's no like release date yet I think or like anything I don't think it's coming out anytime soon and then a lot of people would be waiting for new stuff and wouldn't get it but I still think that would be sick now one thing I want to talk about at the end is how Resident Evil 4 Remake coming to PS4 is a bad idea because apparently Resident Evil 8 Village had to cut a ton of stuff out just because it was also going to PS4 that's because PS4 has limitations. So that could possibly mean we'll be getting a very short Resident Evil 4 remake. Even shorter than the original game. And if it's longer, the graphics are not going to be able to be as good. Because it's a PS4. And they're not, they're not going to release different games. Like a different version of Resident Evil 4 remake to PS5 than PS4. Because that would just be absurd. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and tell me in the comments your thoughts on all of this. If you haven't already, subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by Halloween. And so is my friend Beagle's Battles, so check him out too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!